Today, I'm gonna to be giving away over $1,000 worth of gear in this video, so watch until the end. <laughs> yeah, boy. And I'll also be showing you guys what I plan to carry for the month of December. This episode was brought to you by House of Blades, more on that later, and before we jump into this pocket dump, I actually got a really special package in. This is from RZE Watches, and they sent out a few things for me to check out. All right, let's get into this real fast and not take too much time. It seems like we got a really big package here. So this is a tote bag, I believe. Wow, this thing's actually really nice. Super nice material. I'm not even sure what it is. It seems very weather resistant. On top of that, there's molly paneling as well as a hook front face. So this is gonna be really nice for some of my patches. This is part of the RZE Quest collection, the Jaunt Tote. Looks like it has a ton of space inside so this will be great for hiking, camera gear, whatever I want to throw into it. We've got a tag that says assembled for adventure as well as a name tag. And it looks like they made an EDC pouch with a front loop field. So I'm not sure what material this is either. But in terms of the overall form, this is actually really nice. It does come equipped with YKK zippers here on the backside and then the main compartment. I wonder what this is. We also got a few stickers as well as a ranger eye. And look at this, it has a ton of different storage options built within the pouch. And honestly, this feels of really high quality, a little bit better than some of the other pouches that I've tested. I'll give this thing some carry time and then probably do a full review on it. So inside this pouch, ooh baby, okay, okay, what do we have here? So this looks like it's a bead as well as a new bracelet. I'm not gonna lie guys, I already knew that this was coming because I really wanted a titanium bracelet for my Big Idea Designs Field Watch. Now for those of you guys that aren't familiar with the Thai Field Watch, this is from Big Idea Designs. This is the automatic version and it's in collaboration with RZE. It comes stocked with a NATO strap, so I'm gonna remove this real quick and then we'll throw on this titanium bracelet. Before I throw on the new bracelet, let's do a quick wrist check because this is the watch that I'll probably end up wearing most of the time in December. And this is the Boulder Supply Co. Voyage Mediterranean. It's got a really nice stainless steel case as well as bracelet, a super nice clicking bezel as well as a really nice looking simplistic dial. The Voyage is my very first diver watch. As you guys know, I'm jumping into the rabbit hole with watches and I'm still learning a lot. But yeah, let me go ahead and swap out the bracelet and then I'll be right back with you guys. A few moments later. Okay, I got everything fitted and let's do this for the first time. <sighs> Look at that thing. This completely changed the overall aesthetic of this timepiece and oh my goodness. So if you guys decide that you wanna pick up your very own Thai Field Watch off of Big Idea Design's website, use code EVERYDAYMINIMALIST in all caps and that will get you a discount. And go check out my friends over at RZE Watches because they have this insane titanium bracelet. I think I'm gonna rep this for the rest of the day. It's so nice. All right, let's talk about the pocket dump and this is the pouch I plan to carry. I actually got this pouch last year after Christmas so so I'm happy to actually have it for this Christmas. It's a Garage Built Gear Mighty Pouch Plus with a really nice Christmas decor. It's kind of like a candy cane theme, but I wanted to bring out more Christmas colors such as this green paracord along with the brass tactile knife coat bead and this Workerman Christmas theme bead. I wanted to add the brass bead because gold is a really cool color theme within Christmas as well. Moving on to the patches, I've got my Everyday Minimalist V2 patch, Feelings Coffin from Data Crew, the Starco Bones. This is a brand new Pikachu patch that I got from my friend over at Clog Two. Him and Load Up Co. make these really cool patches. And if you haven't seen Clog 2's artwork yet, I recommend that you guys go check him out on Instagram because he has some insane pieces. And lastly, the Nintendo patch from CXG or Castle Grayscale. Now, before we move further in this video, let me tell you why you should buy your next knife at House of Blades. This video is brought to you by House of Blades, my go-to knife retailer when it comes to anything knife related. They stock pretty much any brand that you can possibly imagine, anywhere from Benchmade, Civivi, Wii Knives, ZT, Chris Reed, knives, Koenig, and a whole lot of others. They also strive to be the best when it comes to customer service. As a matter of fact, if you place an order today, they will likely ship it out the same business day. I know you guys have felt this before. You're kind of like a kid on Christmas just waiting for that day to come where your new present arrives and getting that package and opening it up for the first time, seeing your brand new knife is probably the best feeling ever. What I would actually suggest doing is calling up House of Blades at this number below and asking for Chris and Susie to Tell them that Brandon or Everyday Minimal sent you. They'll hook you up with a discount on your entire order. And on top of that, while you're on the phone with them, you can let them know that you want your knife personalized with your own logo, whatever text you want. If it's a gift, maybe put that person's name on the knife or whatever you want. And they can do custom laser engraving for you. Aside from all of that, House of Blades is the reason why I can do what I do here on YouTube and keep making this great content for you guys. So I wanna thank you guys as the viewers and House of Blades for making this all happen. 
but let's get back to the video. All right, let's move inside the pouch. Got the Everyday Minimalist Awesome Hank Collab Hank. These are still available for about 26 bucks. In terms of my flashlight, I have the Rovi Vivon A26. This thing just has a bunch of different modes. You got the red light, it's got a UV mode, and then of course it's a really decent bright flashlight. This flashlight goes for about 60 bucks and it has a really cool retro look. Next to that, I've got my Fubar from Pixel Co. Now, if you've never seen one of these before, it's basically a bottle opener and also a fidget slider. Now, this one is super special because Tony went ahead and milled in a topographic pattern for me, as well as the everyday minimalist insignias. This thing is made out of titanium in a dude's garage. I also did add on a paracord and this Timascus bead from Tactile Knife Co. And it just sounds really cool. I mean, just listen to that. Next up, I have my pen and you guys have seen this before. This is the Zirconium Big Idea Design Mini Bolt Action Pen. I decided to go with this pen specifically because it fits really well within the Garage Built Gear Mighty Pouch Plus. It doesn't take up a ton of space, gets the job done. This is just an awesome pen. So again, if you guys are interested in grabbing one of these, go to the link in the description below. So moving forward, I've got my bit driver. This is made by Good Screw, and this one's really special because it's made in Superconductor. And if you guys don't know what Superconductor material is, let me just flash the description here. And just to give you a gist of it, it's a very, very hard material to get, and it's extremely expensive. But I absolutely love this thing because it just spins forever. And as you guys know, I like to take apart my knives. Next to that is going to be my pry bar, and this is from Arcane Design. It's called the Space Bar. Now, this thing does act as a bit driver as well. It has a built-in pocket clip and a nail puller. And as you guys know, I use pry bars to mount camera plates and pretty much use them on a daily basis. Moving forward, the last thing inside my pouch is going to be this guy right here. I've got a custom leather slip for it, and this is my Supreme Red Beer Bomb. I got this thing earlier this year at Blade Show Texas, and I absolutely love this piece just because of how bright and vibrant it is. The Beer Bomb also does have a nail puller as well as a ball opener and acts as an SFK. This piece just matches up really well with this overall aesthetic. So that's everything inside the pouch, but I didn't want to leave out my phone. So this is the iPhone 15 Pro. And matter of fact, I got a brand new case from Pataka. This thing is made of Aramid fiber. Let's throw this thing on real quick. Get this open up and reveal the case. And this thing is pretty vibrant. This actually matches up with the channel colors. If you guys don't know what Aramid fiber is, it's basically a carbon fiber Kevlar composite. So extremely durable, but there we go. This thing feels a little bit different just because it has a lot more protection. But I've been running Pataka cases for 10 plus years now, and I won't use another brand. That's how much I love these cases. The last item I wanted to talk about is my primary EDC knife, and that is gonna be none other than the Oz Machine Co. Roosevelt. The Rosie is absolutely glorious. Balin got this for me as an early Christmas present. And this just so happens to be the golf putter milling pattern. It also has a hand satin magna cut blade. And for those of you guys that are into Rosies, this is the Silver Surfer. It's an absolutely stunning knife, has an amazing action. And this is probably one of the best, if not the best EDC knives of all time. Yes, it's super expensive, but as you guys know, I have over 375 knives in my collection. And this one has not been able to leave my pocket for about two weeks now. I've been carrying this thing constantly. So that's everything I plan to carry for December. Throw me a like if you're enjoying this video so far, and let's talk about this massive giveaway. I've teamed up with Urban EDC Supply, and they gave me a $1,000 budget to put together an insane EDC kit. All the items on this list are handpicked by me, and let's go through those real quick. First up is a brand new Chavez 229 Kickstop in Black G10. It's the drop point variant with a compound grind, and if you haven't handled the 229 Kickstop yet, now is your chance. Next up, I picked out a daily custom Swiss army knife. This thing is titanium with an FDE finish and it has holes for a pocket clip. I'm not gonna open it up because I wanna keep that as factory fresh as possible for you guys. Next up, we have a Griffin Co. Urban EDC Supply collabed haptic coin. Now this is just a really fun fidget toy and this thing is made of brass, so it's kind of heavy. But it's a really fun thing to carry around or if you wanna leave it on your office desk and fidget around with it, it's absolutely perfect. After that, we have have a Frankenworks end bead with a paracord, and this one does have a really cool Sagaiha motif on the exterior of the bead and on the bottom of the bead. This one is made of nickel, and maybe you guys can add this to a pouch if you really want to. I also wanted to include a pen, so I picked out the Titanium Refined EP1. This is one of my most favorite EDC pens of all time, and that will definitely add to this overall EDC loadout. Last but not least is this insane flashlight from Raylight. This is the Dawn in a titanium stonewash finish and it has a really nice tone
tone to the actual light. You've got a bunch of different modes, including a really light moonlight mode, medium, and then high, and then maybe ultra high, whatever you want to call it. This is just an absolutely beautiful flashlight. It even has built in loom. And I low key want to keep this, but it's actually going to have to go to one of you guys. So the cool thing is if you're interested in just grabbing one of these products straight off of the website, Urban EDC is hooking up the EDM community with a permanent web page and discount code that's automatically applied to your order. So whether you want the Chavez 229 Kickstop or the Daily Custom Sack, if you want the Raylight Dawn, all this stuff is going to be on a permanent discount. Okay, let me tell you guys how to enter into this giveaway. Listen to this very closely. All you're going to need to do is make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and then leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me your number one product on your Christmas EDC gear wish list and why you want that specific item. We'll be closing this giveaway on December 19th at about noon Mountain Standard Time and I'll be hosting a live stream at noon on the 19th. One last super important thing, I will not be responding to comments saying that you won or DMing you or emailing you. So be super cautious. I will be announcing the winner live on stream. So make sure that you guys are there. Why are you running? Why are you running? Again, huge shout outs to Urban EDC Supply for hooking us up with this crazy holiday giveaway. And thank you so much to House of Blades for sponsoring this video. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna be doing a crazy video ranking your favorite knife brands in the next video, so stay tuned for that. Aside from that, thank you guys so much for dropping by and we'll have to catch you on the next one. Peace out.